get you the money you deserve. Everybody knows that. We're the Law Brothers. Call 1-800-222-2222. KCAL News Mornings. Good morning. Today is Tuesday, August 20th. Welcome to KCAL News at 5 o'clock and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Kalina Estrinos. And I'm Christine Lazar in for Chris Holmstrom. And here are some of the major headlines we're following this morning. A heart-stopping moment followed by an emotional reunion. A man steals a father's truck with his child strapped in the back seat. We are live with those details. Life without parole for the shooter. Um, and that's just a start. This morning, a mother closer to justice for the murder of her son. Her reaction to the new charges against Johnny Wachter's alleged killers and what she wants to see get done next. A surprise visit and a passing of the torch by President Biden. I'm Carolyn Cummings in Chicago with a recap of night one and also with what happened outside of the convention center as well. And today is going to be the hottest day of the week, so we have Amber Lee here to tell us what we should do to stay cool. And you guys all got the memo, bright colors, <laughs> yeah. as you're trying to no cool black. off. <laughs> I thought about wearing black, and I was like, no, I'm just going to wear something brighter. You should, yeah, you look great. <laughs> Thanks, you're channeling guys. the heat for today. Yeah. Even yesterday, because I live in the valley, it yeah. did feel like very, even in the shade, it yeah. was really tough to stay cool if you were out for an extended period of time. Yeah, so you know, it's going to be even hotter today, so if you don't have to be outside, try and stay inside as much as possible possible that the AC will definitely be cranked up and you know a lot of students are headed back to school today so remember to pack the ice pack or have them dress lighter you know just according to the forecast today because we are talking some triple digit temperatures especially as you get away from the coast so this heat is really oppressive because we're looking at not only uh, hot temperatures but that humidity is going to start to flow back in for us here in Southern California it just makes it a little bit sticky a little bit more uncomfortable obviously nothing like what we deal with on the East Coast but this is what we're dealing with right Right now because all that monsoonal moisture is starting to creep in as this high pressure system really starts to strengthen over the course of the next few hours. Live look outside. This is our Malibu camera looking at the Santa Monica Bay. Temperatures right now in the upper 60s. By the time we head toward the afternoon for LA and Orange County, we're looking at highs in the low 90s. We'll have lots of triple digits as I mentioned as we head toward the valleys and the Inland Empire. I'll have more details on when that cool down will be arriving. Back to you. All right, Amber, thank you. And as we head out the door, we're taking a look at the Cajon Pass. This morning where it is bunched up already at 501 in the morning southbound delays right now as you pretty much come away from that 395 and head southbound there we also have road work happening on the northbound 15 from the 395 to Bear Valley lane closures there until about six o'clock this morning different ones will be closed at different times northbound traffic will take you about 12 minutes we also have delays on the 395 but just a light backup and the 15 south from Joshua Street to the 215 will take you 20 minutes to get through here's a look at the 405 in the Sepulveda Pass. We do have uh, some space in between the cars, which we love to see, especially on the 405. And this is a look at the rest of the LA area. Lots and lots of green. Same deal for Orange County, but I will uh, keep you updated throughout the morning. Kalina, thank you. Terrifying moments in the San Fernando Valley after a man stole a truck with a young child inside. The boy is back home safe with his family, but that suspect still has not been caught. KCAL News reporter Cara Finstrom is live where the boy and the truck were found. Cara, good morning. Good morning. Investigators still looking for that suspect who they say drove about two miles here from Silmar and then just left that pickup truck here still running with that little boy in the back seat. Take a look. You can see the child was wearing a Batman shirt, safe, waving at first responders. This video taken shortly after the dad and the son were reunited. That red pickup truck, we're told it was stolen at around 7 Monday night near the intersection of Bradley Avenue and Oswald Streets in Silmar. Detectives say the dad had left the pickup running. His son was in the back seat when he stepped away. They think that suspect hopped into the driver's seat and just took off unaware that there was a 10 year old in the back. He ditched the car here in San Fernando at the intersection of First and Jesse Streets. Police say when they responded, they found the child there. He did not appear to have been harmed. The child told them the suspect is a man in his 30s and was wearing a straw hat and an orange shirt. And last night we did see that detectives 
search that red pickup looking for evidence that he might have left behind. But again, back here live, uh, at this point, that search is continuing. The really good news in all this is that frightening ordeal ended with that father and son.